what's up guys coming at you very informal very chill because i what's up <laughs> i did not post yesterday because thanksgiving uh like i can't be working on thanksgiving girl like it's just way too much was going on it's currently while i'm filming this um the day before thanksgiving i am cooking right now there is food in the oven and on the stove while i am filming this for you guys right now. I do wanna give y'all a little rant real quick while I'm in the midst of baking some mac and cheese. It got about like maybe, about like 30 more minutes on it. I just popped it in maybe 10 minutes ago. I, I usually don't rant in here, but Daniel downstairs playing the game and the dog, it's just way too fucking much. So today I want to talk about, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, right now, like real time. It's not Thanksgiving yet while I'm filming this. While you're watching it, it's the day after Thanksgiving, but it's not even Thanksgiving yet, okay? And I am being bombarded with all of this Thanksgiving blah, just because I'm vegan. Like, I never thought that it would like, I don't know, I just didn't think it would be like this, but it's kind of overwhelming. So I'm just gonna break it down from the beginning and then I'm gonna get into, you know, me just yelling and being a hot ass mess. I don't really yell in my rant, well sometimes I do girl. I had posted a, picture on my Instagram of some pumpkin pie that I had ordered because I already knew I was gonna have to cook for myself because for one my family is just very spread out this year and then for two a lot of Thanksgiving dishes are not vegan and I didn't want somebody else to have to sacrifice just for one person little old me so I knew I was gonna have to cook this is my first year ever cooking a whole Thanksgiving meal by myself like I've helped my mom out every here and there that's how I know how to like convert certain re recipes to a vegan option, but I've never cooked a whole Thanksgiving by myself and I'm doing it this year. So on my menu, it was, um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it already cause I, I'm gonna be posting it online, but I have pumpkin pie, mac and cheese. I tried to do a, um, a uh, pasta salad, but the onion I was using was bad. So I had to throw the whole pasta salad away, girl, because I'm not trying to get sick. And if somebody wants to try my stuff, I definitely don't want them to get sick because then they're just gonna be turned off vegan food for the rest of their life. Okay, anyway, I have to remake that. I have ice cream. What else did I get? Um, oh, and I'm making stuffed bell peppers instead of the whole turkey thing. Like if I want a little bit of meat, I'm making stuffed bell peppers. And then I'm making, I don't know if I said this already, but I'm making stuffing or dressing or whatever you guys like to call it. So I'm making all these dishes, right? I posted my pumpkin pie because I had gotten it first. I ordered all my stuff from Whole Foods, all the ingredients, and it got shipped to my house. And obviously I'm not making the pie from scratch, so I just bought a vegan pumpkin pie already pre-made and then bought some uh, coconut, I think it's coconut milk um, Cool Whip for it, right? And I posted it on my Instagram. And immediately I just started getting flooded with all of these questions. And like some of the questions I was answering because I could tell it was from pure curiosity because bruh, I just went vegan, what, two months ago, a month and a half ago. Like I'm not an expert on veganism. So I'm not about to sit here and be like, Chubby's trying to ask me no questions. But then I started getting some questions where I was like, sis, do you have a problem? What's going on? Like, cause you kind of came at me kind of sideways. Like, here's me. And then you came like this cool questions that I was getting where I was like not really freaking out where people were just like um where did you get the pumpkin pie from did you make the pumpkin pie um just stuff like that or like you know are you cooking your own meals this year what are you cooking like I could send you some recipes like stuff like that I don't mind but then I had some that were just like girl I don't know how you do it it couldn't be me you really just hit me up to tell me it couldn't be you I'm gonna answer some questions um one person that stuck out to me Somebody said, do you, you know what, let me just open my phone because I've kind of been neglecting my phone since I started seeing all the BS because I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna just let people DM me whatever the fuck they want. I really don't care. Somebody asked me, are you staying vegan on Thanksgiving or are you cheating? There is no cheating. I'm not snapping on you, sis. Don't get it wrong. I'm not snapping on you. If I was gonna snap on you, you already got snapped on in the DMs. <laughs> if, I, if I was gonna snap on you, you already got snapped on. I'm sorry. Some of y'all came at me like real sideways. Over food. Over my, like, food. Like, that's weird to me. Like, that's what you're mad about? Like, you really don't got shit to be mad about. You get mad at me about food, girl. Like, what? No, I am not cheating because the thing is, this is not a diet for me. Um, like this is not like a little get slim quick trend I'm trying to do where it's just like, oh, you know, I'm gonna eat vegan throughout the week and then on the weekend I'll, you know, get be on a um, polio diet and give myself some chicken and fish. It's like, I'm not like that. Like I am vegan 100%. I don't have no cheat days. 
or nothing. Now I will admit when I first started, I wasn't accustomed to reading labels yet. So when I just saw something that said like vegetarian or veggie or stuff like that, I went towards it instead of reading about it. Then I saw that video where it's like um, 75 things you didn't know were not vegan. And ever since then, I've really been looking at my stuff. And surprisingly, I wasn't doing too bad. But when it came to like snacks and shit, that's where I was starting to slip up. Um, but it was never intentional. I don't have cheat days. I don't do none of that. Like you asked me who I just read their DM. You asked me that in a very polite way. Somebody else asked me something similar and was on some. I already know you about to be eating that turkey behind the scenes, sis. Another person had asked me, what is the point of getting something that's vegan that resembles something that's not? Why don't you just eat the real thing? Like, that's what somebody said. Now, I know a lot of vegans are going to come on and do the whole ethical preach or whatever, but I'm going to be real with y'all because I told you guys I mainly am vegan when it comes to what I put inside of my body. I don't really... Um, go as far to be like, and some of y'all can police me, call the vegan police, Freeze, vegan police. And say I'm not a real vegan for this, but I don't really like look too much into the, oh, what warehouse was this um, Publix water um, packaged in? Oh, wow, they also make produce meat at this factory? Well, I guess I can't drink Publix water anymore. Like I'm not that type of vegan, you know? But I know the normal response to that type of question would be like, you know, it's less cruel to animals, but you could still get the, taste of it but that doesn't make sense to me but i'm gonna tell you why i do it why a lot of other people do it too is because some food holds cultural significance especially with like african americans with you know like chicken and greens and you know cornbread stuff like that it's just it's just cultural or like with spanish people how like you know they have certain meals that require eggs and milk spanish people y'all come in clutch because y'all got the tacos and the burritos so y'all being vegan for y'all is a lick but when it comes to like those traditional dishes i've noticed they have a lot of milk involved in spanish dishes but you can easily substitute that it, it's just the point like it's a cultural significance to a lot of people to be able to eat those type of foods with their family and stuff like that. I've seen people make sushi and you know they're from Asian descent and that's what makes them feel comfortable. Like I don't see why it's such a big deal why people can't have comfort food. Like I, I don't I don't get why it's such a big deal because I saw somebody because um, I did say I was gonna make a mac and cheese tray and somebody was just like what's the point of you making mac and cheese if you could just go and get the real thing and blah 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 like doesn't and that's another thing a lot of people think it's gonna taste weird it does not taste weird that's the whole point like ask any freaking vegan again have not been vegan for that long but when you do go vegan you are forced to cook bitch and if you're like me and you live with somebody who is not a vegan you have to make sure that your meals are unclockable zero Clock. The best way you could test it out is if you give it to a little kid and you watch their reaction because adults are a little less um, uh, free spirited and trying with new things. But if it looks familiar, that's the whole point. If it looks familiar and it tastes familiar, it could pass. Okay, so that's all we vegans really try to do is we really try when it comes to passing when we know other people are going to be eating our food because when it comes to meat eaters and stuff like that, they want stuff to taste the same. And I don't blame them because when I first started out vegan, I really needed to look out for those foods to make the transition easier for me. I just don't think that, you know, it's right to just be like, oh, well, shit, you can eat mac and cheese, you might as well just go and stop being vegan and just blah, 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 blah. It's literally the same thing, sis, except I'm not eating fucking um, cow titty. Um, somebody also asked me, like, what was I doing on Thanksgiving? Like, was I gonna go to anybody's house and stuff like that? Like, this wasn't a rude question. They genuinely wanted to know, like, are you going to somebody's house and like, you know, would, are they gonna have vegan food there or are you gonna bring your food there? And honestly, I wouldn't feel comfortable just bringing my own food to somebody else's house. I feel like that's a really like bad look. My go-to thing, what I'm gonna be doing is, is I'm just gonna go for the mashed potatoes and the salads and that's just gonna be that for real because i know for a fact especially because i live in the south there's gonna be deviled eggs cornbread um greens with neck bones in them i'm gonna go there already full wherever i go on thanksgiving i'm gonna go there already full and if i must eat to be to be polite you know I'm gonna just head for the mashed potatoes and salad section. Like, it's not a big deal. I will admit though, the only time where like, I do get slipped up when it comes to being vegan 
is people love putting butter on everything. Oh my God. I'm really hoping they don't like butter up their mashed potatoes wherever I'm going. Cause I'm most likely gonna go to um, three places tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get one batch of mashed potatoes with no butter, but I do have my own mashed potatoes with no butter. So pretty much it, bro. I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm done ranting. All I gotta say to y'all is vegan people are not starving, bro. We have our own foods, bro. Like we're not starving. Everything that you eat, we can pretty much make a vegan alternative to. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to y'all and say that chicken is not good as fuck and that steak is not like the best thing. Like I'm not about to sit here and lie to y'all, okay? I'm not. I can still eat good without real animals being involved. I mean, that's just me. And I, again, I'm not on that like tree, I'm not a tree hugger ass vegan, dude. Like I'm not. And I will, but so I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I stopped eating meat for the animals. Like, I'm not gonna do that. But it's weird how, like, the more, the longer you're vegan, like, the, and the more shit you start seeing, it kind of get, it kind of makes you happy that you're not consuming certain stuff. It's, it's really weird. So it's just like, damn, like, how come I can't be happy that I'm eating stuff that tastes good to me? You know, like, I've never understood why people get so obsessed over others' plates. <laughs> Shit, even when I was a meat eater, I didn't like chitlins, but I'm not about to go out of my way to tell every fucking post of people making chitlins online to be like, bro, you're nasty as fuck. I would never eat that. Like, what's the point? Go eat the actual meat of the chicken. Slavery is over. Like, why would I say that? Like, I'm not eating it. I don't give a fuck. I didn't cook it. I don't gotta, I don't gotta smell the house. It doesn't bother you directly. Just, just stop. The moral, of the, the moral of this rant is, is that there are ways to ask questions. If you're not sure about something, or somebody's way of living and you must inject yourself into their business or their lives like there's ways to ask people so that it doesn't come off rude and I'm not trying to act like I'm holier than thou I'll admit sometimes I come at people and I ask questions wrong and it all comes through text and you know text tone cannot be detected and stuff like that so but if I did snap on you Brad I mean we've talked it out it's what it is you know but I just just mind you just mind your business i guess that's the the lesson of like multiple weeks now <laughs> well thank you guys for chilling with me um i hope you guys all had an awesome thanksgiving i hope nothing crazy happened i am so looking forward to your thanksgiving clapback so i will be posting all that information in the community tab hopefully on thursday i really hope so i hope my day isn't too crazy but um yeah all that will be in there and yeah I get, i'll see y'all tomorrow let me know in the comments if there's any type of food that you like that like either your family member or your friends are always just like uh like why do you eat that uh and you're just like it's my food damn it let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time bye